last night's four near side investigation. Chris Ramirez exposed how police officers and doctors in New Mexico violated the body of a driver multiple times, all because he ran a stop sign. But there's even more to this investigation. And tonight, there's another driver who says the story is horribly familiar. Is law enforcement in one community going way too far? It's a story that has left the entire country wondering about the state of law enforcement in New Mexico. Four on your side revealed how David Eckert rolled through a stop sign in Deming. A canine named Leo alerted that it sniffed drugs on Eckert's driver's seat. And for the next 14 hours, those police officers and doctors at the Gila Regional Medical Center performed eight medical procedures, including x rays, rectal finger exams, enemas, and finally a colonoscopy. According to a federal lawsuit, officers Bobby Orozco and Robert Chavez were two of the officers involved, and they never found drugs inside Eckert. He's living in a community um, where police are able to harass people traveling through this community and people who live there, basically unchecked. Our investigation reveals another chapter, another man, another minor traffic violation, another incident with Leo the canine, and another violation of a man's body. This is dash cam video from the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office in Lordsburg. Police reports state deputy stopped Timothy Young because he turned without putting his blinker on. Again, Leo the canine alerts on Young's seat. Young is taken to the Gila Regional Medical Center in Silver City, and just like Eckert, he's subjected to medical procedures, including x-rays of his stomach and an anal exam. Again, police found nothing, and again, the procedures were done without consent and in a county not covered by the search warrant. And we've learned more about that drug dog, Leo, who just seems to get it wrong all the time, and he might be getting it wrong because he's not even certified in New Mexico. Take a look at the dog certification. The dog did get trained, but his certification to be a drug dog expired in April 2012. Canines need yearly recertification courses, and Leo is falling behind. We have done public records requests to try to find anything we can to show that this dog had ever been trained. And we have evidence this dog has had false alerts in the past. One last thing to tell you about, you know all these doctors at the Gila Regional Medical Center? Well, they've been turned over to a state licensing board, so it's possible that they may lose their license to practice medicine. And as for all these police officers, well, they're going to be answering to a state certification board as well. Chris Ramirez.